How do you know Ian didn't give you up before he died? Because if he did, I'd already be dead. It's not like Jason didn't have the opportunity. When I came home yesterday, he was sitting in my bedroom. What? Yeah. You know what he asked me? He asked me if I had any proof that Daddy's the one that hired Ian. So we're in the clear. He has no idea that I'm responsible for Michael's shooting. Ooh. You two look very serious. Is there something I should know? I hope you aren't talking business with your sister. I don't want Claudia to get the wrong idea about her place in this family. Oh, I've known my place in this family. Daddy you sent me away to Italy to live with Uncle Rudy. Rudy was supposed to keep you out of trouble. Letting you run things in his name is not what I had in mind. You'd be surprised. Uncle Rudy taught me a lot of things about how to run this business. Things that Johnny could learn from me. Not that he wants my help. The Zakaras don't share power, Claudia, especially with a woman. And we don't discuss business in front of them either. Close the door on your way out. You're in the middle of something, Dad. Bye, Johnny. That's right. You have more important things to talk about. This is the second overture from our friends in South America, the Esteban family. They want to expand. Now, if we agree to transport and distribute their product along the eastern seaboard, they're going to give us a fair share of the profits, and more importantly, access to their shipping lanes south of the equator. We've been through this. I'm not interested in the dealer offering. Right. Maybe your father would like to take a look at the proposal himself. If we go back now and tell them we've changed our minds, it'll be perceived as a sign of weakness. John, that is your pride talking. In order to stay competitive, we need a strong partnership in South America. The Esteban family gives us that and much more. Tony, it's really a very fair proposal. I've made my decision. Either you trust my judgment or you don't. I'm not crazy about your attitude. I'm not going to sit here and get into a contest with Trevor. John, there is no contest. I was at your father's side before you were born. I've given years of service and loyalty to your father. You know what? I'm not going to sit here and lie to your face. That's what you got this guy for. As for the deal, it's your business. You run the damn thing however you see fit. That kid certainly got a temper. I certainly hope you rein it in before he burns any more of the bridges to our friends in South America. John needs guidance. I think I know how to provide it. Kate Howard's office? Uh, no, she, she's uh, in a meeting. Can I take a message? Okay. Um, can you say that number again? 50176. Okay, great. Thanks. Bye. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I... Ah! Oh! Let go of me, let go of me, let go of me. Relax. Suzukara just wants to talk. I'm glad you could come. Well, you didn't give me much of a choice. Well, something told me you wouldn't have come by invitation alone. Boys, close the door behind you. Lulu and I need a little privacy. Okay, you don't have to threaten me because I already told you that Johnny and I are over. Mm, that's too bad. My son needs somebody like you in his life. Since when? A few days ago you didn't want me to have anything to do with him. Call me overprotective. In this business you can't afford distractions. Well, Johnny's going to get himself killed if he can't learn to control his temper, and you seem to have a calming influence on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Johnny's had a death wish since the day I met him. That's true. My son lets his emotions get the best of him, and that's no way to run a business. Lucky for him, I'm back so he doesn't have to. Mm, well, you both have something in common. You're both whack jobs. 
cute and spunky. I can see why he's infatuated. Well, he's going to have to get over it because I don't want anything to do with him or you ever again. My son gets what he wants. You don't cooperate, your father will pay the price. I haven't been in the money laundering business with your father for very long, but I have learned a thing or two about his habits. Luke works fast, and he doesn't always take the time to cover his tracks. If you leave evidence around long enough, it's bound to end up in the wrong hands. Well, if you turn my father in, you'll go down with him. <laughs> You're a fiery little one, aren't you? It's too bad you don't have the brains to go along with it. <sighs> Do you really think I would have made it this far without knowing how to keep my hands clean? The same could be said about my father. Your father has a stack of cash in his safe that can't be accounted for. And if the feds find out about it, he's looking at ten years for RICO violations. With a bad ticker, who knows how long dear old dad could last in prison. What do you want? The same thing you do. Make nice with Johnny. And if you don't, you could kiss your father goodbye. Claudia, it's me. I need to talk to you. Call me back as soon as you get this. It's important. What are you doing here? I thought we could go for a drive. 